Okay, um, Vikings news, day after the Super Bowl. Um, um, this was pretty much assumed it was going to happen, but uh, now it's official. Clint Kubiak um, has been uh, promoted to offensive coordinator to replace his father. And, uh, you know, Vikings fans are mad because they're always mad because they're Vikings fans. But um, um, they're mad that it's, you know, it's nepotism, it's, you know, Basically, they're just mad about the fact that it's Gary Kubiak's son. Um, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I'm not thrilled about it. Basically, I think the offensive system that we have is pretty good. I mean, you know, we had what you know, we had a top ten offense even with the bad offensive line. Uh, Kirk had a really good year. Jefferson, you know, Jefferson Cook, everybody. Um, you know, my thing, as I've ranted about in many a video, is the play calling of Gary Kubiak, which I think really cost the Vikings. I mean, it didn't cost them maybe going to a Super Bowl, but it definitely cost them a playoff spot. I mean, even with the bad defense, they're in the playoffs, if not for some really, really fucking terrible play calling in, in key spots in some games like Tennessee, Dallas. Um... So I don't have a problem with the system. I've had a problem with Kubiak, Gary's, I gotta, I gotta specify now, Gary's play calling. Now, Clint Kubiak, uh, I believe, has never called plays before at any level. That doesn't scare me off because I, I don't know how much that necessarily matters. You know, that could be a good thing because he's maybe not set in his ways a little bit. He's not gonna, he's not gonna take Dalvin Cook and have him run straight up the middle into, into the, into the heart of the defense on you know on half his carries you know um, but again we're not gonna know we're not gonna know until until the fall how how he is with with play calling and in situations you know maybe it'll be a fucking disaster I don't think it'll be a disaster I mean <laughs> he's gotta have picked up something <laughs> and. All the people whining about, you know, oh, it's just his son. They're not just promoting the guy because he's got the last name Kubiak. It's that, that's not how f football teams are run. We have a pretty well-run football organization. They're not going to do that just because it's the guy's last name is Kubiak. They're not, you know, that's very stupid. Um, you know, again, we won't know. We won't know until actual games come up, you know, how he is at, at calling plays. You know, is he gonna is he gonna do what his dad did and have Dalvin Cook bashing up straight into the straight on runs? You know, do do the you know the second and ten draw up the middle? Are they gonna have Kirk dropping back seven step drops behind the bad offensive line and making no effort to get him out of the pocket and in key spot? Like those are the things that need to be fixed. I don't. I think it's really just a tweak that's needed. I don't think I don't think you don't need an offensive overhaul. Just need a tweak. I mean, it's, and presumably they're gonna, you know, do something again with the offensive line, try to get that going a little bit more. But I do believe coaching and play calling can make a pretty big difference with the offensive line. Um, doesn't mean they don't need to get per, uh, improved personnel, but I think, um, you know, I think the play calling last year. Or no, what is now last year, especially really left Kirk and Dalvin and everybody really out to dry a lot. You know that didn't really happen that much with uh, Stefanski in 2019. Um, so you know we won't know for sure until uh, until the fall. But you know I'm certainly willing to give Clint Kubiak a shot to see what he's got. You know. If he's if he's a flop, well then, that's gonna probably <laughs> screw screw up a lot of things. But if he's good, hey, not only could he be good, hell, maybe maybe he maybe he'd even be Zimmer's successor down the line. You never know.